Hey Dave here and welcome to the channel. So if you haven't taken a look at what we've done so far, look at some of the other videos. What we've been trying to do is get this two degree of freedom seat mover mode. Now we're going to use everything that we have at our disposal today. We're going to get everything wired up in this box and we are going to turn it on. So stay tuned. I'll show you step by step. Let's go. So I got this painted. We're gonna go ahead and Dremel out a little bit of the area for the wires that come off the bottom of the Arduino. And the same thing with the IBT. So I'll just start up the Dremel. It doesn't have to be too much, just a little bit, uh, just so the wires can fit. And you can see on the IBTs, since we're mounting them like this, we're going to basically make the Dremel mark right about here. Um, but before we actually install them, we're going to be wiring up the power wires to the motors. And the motors are marked with an M, M plus and M minus, but that doesn't matter. We got What, what does matter is B plus, that's going to be battery and battery minus so those are going to go to our uh, converters so we're going to go in from the converter and out to the motors since the motors are bi-directional i'm going to be using this uh 16 gauge blue wire to run out to one of the motors and i'm going to be using the black to run out to the other motor that way i can i know the blues are the number one uh, motor and black is going to be number two. Now we want to run those to the IBTs before we install the IBTs because we won't be able to do it when they're upside down. So if you if you need to, um, let's see how to put this. If you're going to do maintenance or replace one of these, now I've yet to have to replace one. Maybe I've been lucky, but if you do have to replace one or whatever you think one of the wires is loose, make sure it's right before you put it in. Either that or you're gonna to have to unscrew the IBT to do a little bit of work on it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use these power supplies. Like I said, it's coming off 25 amps. Um, we were able to measure pretty close to that um, during the uh, load test. Off of this, we're gonna be running a red for the positive and a black for the negative. They're a little bit thicker wire. These are 12 gauge. And just for safety, now I don't know if we're going to need them or not, but we're going to put them in. Each of these is like a buck 50 at the automotive parts store. And these are inline fuses. We're just going to use a 15 amp automotive fuse just to keep, well, we could go to 20, we could go to 30. Um, they've got in this one pack, 15 amp fuses, there's 10 of them, 20, 10 of those, 25, there's 10, and 10 30s. I'm not gonna put the 30s in. I'm not gonna do the 25s, but I may do the 20s. This will just, we'll put this in line with the red, the positive. All right, so let's get going. So once again, I'm gonna tin all the connections just to make them work a little bit better. You just heat up your soldering iron, get it hot, and the solder will flow when the temperature, when the wire comes up to temperature. So let's talk about this. You have a, if you look on the bottom side of your IBT, of you motor minus and motor plus. Now those, it's not gonna really matter which direction we hook those up, but it is important that we hook up B plus uh, to positive on the battery That'll be the red wire and then B minus to a negative. Um, so that's going to be the black wire. So you want to unscrew these things, fit your wires inside, and then tighten them down. And we're going to do all four of them and very carefully then mount the IBT inside the enclosure. So I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit. Make sure it's not going to come out. Then I'll go back and, and tighten it again. 
take these. That's, now this is going to be a little bit long, so I'm going to strip off just a little bit of it. All it needs to do is fit down inside there. When you, now if you look right here, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but when I loosen this up, it's going to open up the hole and I'll show you again. And then, um, you know, we're just going to shove the wire in and tighten it back up. Okay, so that's going to be the motor or the battery plus and battery minus. Now I'm going to hook up the blue wires for the motor and I'll zoom in on the, the opening that thing up. Okay, so you can see that it's, it's closed down right now. Now just watch how it opens up in the middle. Okay, so you want to shove your wire right inside there and then tighten it back up. Pretty easy. Once again, make sure your wires are tinned uh, before putting them in on this side. All right, we're almost there. So one thing I want to say is that when you start adding the big thick wires, it gets a little bit unwieldy. So just go carefully because they're going to be adding a lot of weight to these components and you don't need to run them very far. These blue wires, they, they just need to run from here right over to this panel and so do the red ones and the black ones. So just keep in mind, just run them. You don't have to make them super long. I did in this case, but I'm just going to be running them to length right over here and then fastening them down here. So let me get that done. Okay, so the first set of wires is done. This is going to be to motor one, and these are, these are plus and minus to motor one. These are going to be motor two, and I'm going to do the black wires for uh, motor two. So these will be plus and minus to the converter. So we just need to wire up the second IBT and we'll be fine. And it just opens that little hole. Okay, so we're gonna take a look. I've got both of the IBTs mounted. The Arduino, I did cut the board here. So that's just kind of sitting there. But this is gonna allow you to uh, easily swap like engine wires if they're going the wrong direction when you first set it up. Um, you're gonna know that this is gonna be engine number two, this is gonna be one, this is gonna be number one um, to this thing, and this could be number two, um, if we do two of them. But all we have to do, okay, uh, here's here's the uh, the two, the orange and the yellow, they're, they're going to the potentiometer. Uh, both of the potentiometers and then this relatively long section is going out to the potentiometers so what we need to do is wire up these guys on this side of the power wires like I said you can slip them right in there should be no problem and the last thing we're going to have to do is wire up this uh, 24 volt fan and we're going to wire up the, the fan these two fan the fan wires we are going to wire them uh, we could wire them to this or this either one now you don't necessarily have to buy one of these grills but i think it looks a little bit cooler Some of the fans come with them uh, basically there we go now i do have the fan hooked up to uh, the converter so it's going to be 24 volts coming off of this it's going to be 24 volts going to each of the ibt's and the ibt's are going to be controlling the motors uh, motor one and motor two we just tuck this wire in and we should be good to go. So we have the uh, 
USB is going to go right here. These air holes are just to pass air in and out of here. And here's our connectors. So this is just going to mount and we should be good to go. Coming right out the side, I just have the stuff uh, voltage for the potentiometers and then the, the reading for the potentiometers. All right, so let's wire up the motors and the uh, power, uh, power supplies. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these fuses just hanging off the edge of here. That way you're not tracing them around and stuff like that. Everything should fit fairly easily inside here, one way or the other. Um, one way or the other, it's gonna fit. All right, so let's get going, wiring these things up. All right, so here's the master plan. We are going to, we're going to, oh, all right, so here's the master plan. We're going to take this uh, power strip and we're going to be able to plug in a couple of these into the power strip. So we're going to set that aside. This is kind of the way everything is going to look. So we should have access to wire these. I'm going to wire one fuse, probably the 20 amp, maybe the 15, I'm not sure. I'm going to run it right off of here and um, then right to um, each of the motors. The other um, positive and negatives, the positive and negatives, of course, are going to go right to the uh, power supplies right here. And then these guys coming off the side. These are going over to the potentiometers. Um, so I'm going to run a positive and negative positive, probably over to this, uh, this side, and then jumper the positive and negative over to here just to get voltage over there. I'm just going to split the yellow and the orange right here. One's going to go to each of the potentiometers. That's a good plan. Everything's going to mount on the plastic base, so let's get going. What I'm going to be using are these uh, blue connectors. Take out, take out the screw and, um, it's important when you when you're putting these on i'm not sure if you can see that but you can i want to make sure that i can see the wire through the in, little inspection hole okay so you, and then i'll just take my crimper and uh give it one good crimp You can tug on it, but that should be good. So each motor is going to be just wired up like that. And now let's move on to the power wires that are going to go back to the uh, converters. Now real quick, I'm just going to put that inline fuse here. I'm going to solder the power to here and then um, slide some heat shrink on. That way the motors are protected. That's good. I'm going to do both of them for now. Everything's hooked up. Basically, I put uh, those circular lugs on, on this side. And even on the power supplies, I put the spade lugs for the power and uh, the return. Um, AC-wise, they're hooked into this. And we have our 24-volt fan. So, I'm just going to... I'm going to plug it in and see what happens. Right, so I have it running. Uh, both power supplies are working. 
fan is spinning. I still need to tighten everything down or at least bolt it down to the plastic pan. And probably put an on and off switch here so I can, I can shut it off and I can turn it back on. Obviously they're not powering the motors because there's no signal going to um, the Arduino and there's no signal going um, from the Arduino to the IBTs to make these things go. So that that voltage, the 24 volts is just kind of deadheading. But, you know, I did want to get this thing rolling for you. And I'll take some amp readings on each of the motors to see what kind of uh, amps we're pulling. We still need to connect up uh, this, this is five volts. We still need to connect these up to the potentiometers and we still need to split this the potentiometer um, positioning wire right here. So that would be V out. Yes, V out, voltage out. Um, so, and they're they're pretty long, but it only take a little bit of time. Okay, so as, as usual, we're in a real good place. Everything's running, everything's wired up. Um, just a couple more things to do. Just running out of time today. I want to get this thing posted, so I'll see you next time. Dave out.